All right, time to get our act together. Camera's rolling. What were we going to talk about? Crap. Oh, yeah, QSP knife. That's, that's it. Sitting there looking at me. Flanagan. <laughs> People go, where's Flanagan? I don't know, but he's got a whole crowd. He's got Finney in and everybody else. Mary Catherine, they're all hopping around here still. He doesn't make, uh, you know, it costs a lot of money to have him make an appearance anymore. He's just so celebritized. Kylan, QSP, saw it on their Instagram, said, I must possess this knife somehow or another. It's, uh, it's pretty wild looking. I think you're either going to really love this knife or you're going to really not love this knife. I think it's, the you know, the more radical the design, the more likely you are to either really sign on to it or just say, to hell with it. And, you know, QSP traditionally, at least, has been more of a, you know, $50 G10 type knife or whatever, right? But now they're kicking it with a $212 knife, $215.99 knife. White, White Mountain's carrying them. You know, so check on to that. I mean, just look at all the the QSP knives they've got. It really kicked it up these days. But, I mean, you're not going to pay $215.99. Not if you use the LTK discount code, get 10% off. So just remember that. Don't short yourself out. Um, wild Blade, isn't it? S35VN. Yeah, they got their logo on there. It's on fire, baby. This whole knife is on fire. So you want me to drop it for you? I mean, drop the blade. I mean. So it's got anno on it. So after a while with greasy fingers and smearing it around, you might want to kick it with a little bit of Windex. But I kicked it with Windex uh, just before I started this. So this is what it actually really looks like. Because I was carrying it last night, and I've got a buddy there at the sports bar I hang out at. Uh, I was there to watch the game and drink some of that beer. Uh, he's always like, what's the knife of the day? So I pulled this out. This is one of those knives that when you carry it, it's, you know, it's pretty much going to impress a knife, a non-knife aficionado. Okay, they'll look at it because it kind of got that mall ninja wild fantasy look to it, right? But as in what I read about Jason Browse, you know, he was like, he thought there's some wild, cool designs in the mall ninja stuff, but those are, you know, crap. They're garbage materials. What if we made something out of real good stuff and, you know, had a real wild design, different? departure and that's what this is and I'm kind of glad they had the guts to do it now this knife is not everything I dream of um, and it would be really striking to me if you took the gold that's up on here these milled areas and put it on top uh of these flats on the pocket clip. Don't you think that would carry it from front to back? And I just think they missed there. Now, you could probably do it. Send it to Blades We Love and do that. And maybe he could even mask off an area and run you a little gold band across uh, there. But, I mean, this is carbon fiber with, you know, this gold band. It would have been nice if they had carried it across here not sure. Of course, maybe they could have just made a suggestion of something here and not had to carry it. But it would have been a little bit more symmetrical that way. Uh, but it's not like there's a big bunch of inlayer stuff going on on this side that's not on this. Although, this high point here, you can see that's gold anodized. On the back side, they don't do that here. So... Presentation sides being different than the, the lock bar side. I, I, yeah, I shy away from that. But this one's really hard to dismiss just because of that failing. 
because it's really an impressive knife. And the action's really good. I mean, it's just sitting right down there for me. Watch this. I mean, it's over the detent ball pretty quick, right there. So, right. Kick it. That, it's over the detent ball. Uh, that's pretty early. So, we'll take it apart as well. Why not, huh? Is that jimping? That is jimping from Hades. <laughs> from Hades. I reckon you're not going to go to Hades. But you're going to feel like you're in Hades. You grip onto that. No, actually, it's pretty rounded. It's not too bad. So it's not as horrible. Oh, did you see that picture I just showed you? So the thing is, I didn't want to get the blackened blade. I wanted to get the non-blackened. But even when you get the non-blackened, you the flats are blackened. So there you go with that. You can't escape. You can't get a total. But in this one, it's really dramatic to have the blackened flats. It really kind of accentuates all the grind and curves and craziness. And of course, your favorite and mine as well. A nice recurve there. But they do make some great style points, don't they? It's just that uh, they're kind of a whole different world. You know, it gets more involved when you have to sharpen them. Upfront choil for sharpening, so that's not bad. Can you get your finger in there? Yeah, you can, so you can go forward. Oh. Come here, give me a piece of paper to sacrifice at the altar. There you go. Yeah, don't have a Rockwell on this. Uh, you know, I think I sent... I'd, I've slept since then, but I'd have to check the spreadsheet. But I believe there's some QSP knives on the spreadsheet. I may send this to get a good old dink on there. And this kind of coating is not really going to affect the Rockwell number as much as if it was a heavy uh, Cerakote or something like this. So this shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't throw it off much. Blue, I mean, it's a contoured titanium, blue anodized. Should we back up? I should have said that in the first like 30 seconds. But I just like playing with the knives, so there you go. And you've got a thumb ramp with jimping here. This, they call it, I mean, swear to God, they call it jimping. Uh, hold on. Well, maybe they're pointing at that. <laughs> but uh, nine inches overall, that kind of thing. So, uh, and it is too. Where's my, where's my measuring tape? Oh, it's nine inches, all right. I mean, well, within an eighth. Okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. Back up, buddy. So, not quite. Tw it's 22 and a half centimeters. Um, to me, and they're saying it's not quite a four-inch blade. Um, <clears throat> it's four inches to the, almost to the back of the choil there. You start raising it up here, then yeah, you're at about 3.8 inches up here. And as you lower it down in. So at least 97 millimeters and then over 100 when you roll it down this way because of the way that bolster comes up at an angle like that. But I mean, that's wicked ass sharp. That's crazy looking. It's impressive. The action's good. How are the ergos? They're pretty good. When you start picking the tail up like this on this curve, you're going to start, you know, messing with people's grip in that sense. But no, for me, it's okay. It fits fine. If you had much larger hands, your, your little finger may be sitting up here, something like that. But no, it's pretty comfortable. You got a front choil area for your finger and the rest of them fit on there pretty good. And actually... This kind of forces them to kind of tuck in. Really gives you a tight uh, grip on that knife. Reverse grip is pretty comfortable. Really comfortable, actually. <laughs> Almost better than the regular forward grip. So, uh, yes, very nice. Uh, let me see if we got balance right there. 
pretty good like that how fat are you buddy let's find out it doesn't seem like it's very and it's not 0.47 it's pretty slender, 11.9. When you first looked at it, did you think maybe kind of slender? It is. It is. A little, you know, a little wider when you come up on this, but basically, here you go. And it, I don't think it changes much front to back. Uh, no. Um, uh, point 0.13, 3.3. Millimeters, let me see. I can get, well, I, I was probably up on this, wasn't I? So I was up on that 0.46. And so, yeah, it'll drop a little bit when you get off of that 0.44. Because this is raised, as you can see. But that's pretty slender. That's right there with like a paramilitary, too. Although I'll guarantee you it weighs more. Comes in a pouch. So it's really interesting. Check out the pouch, microfiber cloth, you know, this whole deal, pouch, uh, crazy ass. I don't know why they gave you that long strap, but they did. Uh, and actually, here's the outer box, and it's a drawer. It comes out, and it's a really structural box. There you go. That's supposed to be purple. To me, that's blue, so good. Uh, and then this go, I mean, pouch fits into the plastic and then in, into here, etc. And I was meaning to get my, my scales out because it's going to weigh it up. Uh, 4.75. That's pretty light. It's well under five ounces for a nine inch knife. I'd say that's uh, pretty impressive. 134 grams. It's not real heavy. It does look slightly weight relieved. Detent. The action's really good. Let me talk about the lockup real quick. There's your lockup. Uh, that's pretty substantial. That's about a 35% lock up on there, and it feels solid. No blade play, no lock rock, and it's centered. It's hard to see with that blade being that black, but it, it's actually centered. Yeah. Nice. So it feels good in the hand. Fairly lightweight for a huge knife. And uh, easy to carry because of that. I didn't have any problem with the pocket clip either. I think that works pretty well. I, I carried it last night and I didn't think anything of it when I threw it back in my pocket. Backspacer's nice. Check it out. It's above grade here. So it actually adds to the traction. I think the, the detent feels appropriate to me. But it's not real heavy. Let me see if I can throw this out. Okay, yeah. So it's probably about a, a 4.5. Um, it flips open real easy, though. Oh, man. I tried to fail it. It, it swung open. It's definitely more of a swinging gate than a snappy flipper because it, the detent's not as... Stiff. If the detent was more like a 5.2 or 5.5, but still, it's hard to fail. Look at that. Oh, I did. Okay. And it's just, I mean, you can kind of, once you mess with it for enough, you can fail it. But really, it's pretty intuitive. That flipper tab is, and it's jimped. So, what do you think? Crazy, huh? Oh, by the way, I just... A quickie quickie uh, there you go that's the puffin and this little dogger is the uh, worker right there and this is really smooth little lock back I mean that is on some kind of a bronze washer and Wow uh, you'll have to check that out that'll be in another video comes with a nice little holster you can run your belt through but it's still got a deep carry pocket clip. 
right hand only but that is smooth i mean that is smooth you don't even need to nail nick to open it up and then it just drops away so man that that's i'm impressed with that i'm impressed with the stuff that i got here uh puffin mm, no carbon fiber on the back kind of that kind of blows it for me other than that it's really it's really a nice knife it's really a nice knife heard from a couple viewers they like it too well let's get down and dirty with this knife it looks like these are number sixes out here number eight on the pivot so well let's start out and work our way in and this is the first time I've taken it apart so see if we got any issues with Loctite screws uh, moving around or what's going on uh, I don't know what these are screwed into actually so I want to take these out I mean if they're just screwed into the scale then I really don't have to remove them to remove the scale but we'll see hmm there's that and I didn't get that completely out okay should be good 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 okay so check that out yeah so this top screw here comes through probably meets in that backspacer this one doesn't this goes into the scale this one goes through the into the backspacer so keep that in mind see what i'm saying hmm that's interesting just a body screw underneath there it's called where the anno didn't get so kind of wipe that down a bit <clears throat> i guess maybe when you when you windex it maybe take the pocket clip off do that kind of thing now all we have to do is take out the uh pivot screw we should be good and is anything else moving no not difficult looks pretty clean and then we should be able to break this baby apart just like that and ceramic and there's your steel washer your blade stop and all the weight relieving you can see through here okay and well obviously ceramic uh, bearings so we're good with that looks pretty clean no real heavy like white lithium type grease lube stuff so that's good whatever lube they were using was really uh, was really lightweight and you know what no it's not a they don't have a d-shaped pivot here uh, but let me look oh but they have a little step like uh, we knives does on some of their knives they cut a little step in there so on this side there must be yeah there's a little area so that keeps it in place so it won't spin okay okay that works no worries mate okay i just wanted to see what was going on there so then this gets you to line up their logo and let's put this in here so then you'll have to turn this around until up oh, until it stops kicks into that little slot there then you're good wow okay better rather be lucky than good and uh this kind of stuff let's find our bearings in more than one sense of the word and well, let's get these out first on this side and 
going down. Bye bye, buddy. Wipe that down. Bearings look pretty clean. Uh, detent track and ramp. Really nice. Look at that cutaway for the detent. That's well thought of and well thought out and done. So that's nice. Okay. We can we can do that. Uh, roll a little bit of this around here. A little this around here. And click it. That's nice. Yeah. It's really solid, easy. Oh, there's the there's the stop, so I don't have to worry about that. Pop this in here. Already had a little lube in there anyhow. Just throw some on this side. And that's pretty good. Of course, all the oily on my hands will probably play hell with the anno, but that's always something you can change with a little Windex. It wasn't matching up. Okay. Are we not? Now we're good. Now we're good. Okay. Jeez. Something was felt a little bit in the way there, but I think it's just I didn't have my washer centered in there okay don't over tighten come on okay a little Windex all over it. Now that the clip is off, let's get the pocket clip reattached. And we'll be done. Now let's see where we are with uh, blade play, no blade play, and look around the camera, yeah it's centered, okay, seems appropriate, let me wipe this down a little bit, still a little wet from my Windex, okay. Well, there's no question that Kylan, it's a, it's a very, I like the design, but I'm going to just say it's, it's a statement and you're either going to like that or you're not going to like that. It's not like a paramilitary too. It's not a, just a practical user kind of knife. This is more for show, although it has the premium materials to be able to function well as well. But it's sure, uh, it's sure saying something, isn't it? And I, I, I like it. I like the fact that QSP thought, you know, we got a lot of practical knives out there. Hey, you know, we've got, we've got other knives out in the marketplace, G10 ones, other titanium ones, etc., that can meet that need. So let's let's have some fun and uh, go a bit crazy. Big knife, fairly light slender so yeah it's very carryable take care thank you so much you know what we do around here we love them knives so you guys stay sharp